guys, it's NJ Dodger. I'm going to be um, doing a showcase on how to build uh, guns on Roblox Build a Boat. So for this um, showcase, I don't know what to call it because it's like this time I, I think I'm going to actually show like fully how to build <coughs> these guns. But it takes so long to show that. That's the thing. So, what I'm going to do is just go through the basic of it. So, for this episode, or video, episode, video, I don't know. For this video, or episode of the series, I'm going to do on how to build Roblox guns in build a -Boat, which is practically a showcase. So I can say showcase 2.1 or something. Uh, I haven't done any of the Arsenal player skins or the pistols. It's just semi shooters. Automatic still in progress. Basically, here's the automatic so far. I've made. It's so hard to see it in. I made a Tommy gun here. I made a Vector. I made a MG42. Classic army gun. This is an AA12. It's, um. Most shotguns are semi, but the unique thing about this is it's an automatic shotgun, which makes it quite sick. So here, semi shooter guns. I'm going to be showing how I built the railgun. Quite one of those. I wouldn't consider it sophisticated. I don't. I don't know. It's not too sophisticated to be honest. But basically, um, I'm here's how. I'm just going to show a presentation of how the gun actually works. Okay, I'm done setting it up. Um, it's time for epic montage, I guess. We got a number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we bout to get down. Get down. Ten kills on the board right now. Just wiped out tomato time. Okay, I flooded blue team. Um, I'm out of ammo. Oh, I didn't show it in action. Oh, no. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna redo that. Whatever. That wasn't a montage. That was so dead. Oh, yeah, this is my testing area, by the way. I have dummies which work on because their arms, legs, uh, everything, hinge, joints, and things, they move. Yes. So pretend you've never seen that thing, okay? That ha You've never seen that, okay? Okay, maybe I should have kept that beside me so I know how the railgun looks. Never mind, I'm going to open a, a tab real quick. I know how it looks like, but I want to nail how, like nail how I actually built it. So basically, we're gonna start from scratch. So um, how you gonna do this is I'm just gonna show the basic way of building it. It takes a while to actually um. Do it. So set your merging level red. Uh, movement 0.5. Match rotation is on. Rotation is 90, so I'll show you when you have to change it. Just do that. You don't need the wood, actually. Actually, you need the wood now. Place down a block of wood. Turn the match rotation off. Turn rotation to 15. Then later, um, you we're ma mainly going to make it out of titanium. So once you're here, you want to make yours. Actually, match rotation is on. Yeah, tilt it like. I'll just see what I think is good. One, two. No, you've only got to tilt it once. 
Just tilt it once, set your scale to 0 0.5, scale it all the way down. You can delete the wood if you want. Now just scale this, like, at least a platform for you. So two down, one, two, and one, two, one, two, and like two outward. But you want to make your, actually, you want to make yours one inward. One inward after. So it like it's like that. Then you want to scale these here. Once you think it, it looks realistic, then that's how far you will scale it. So basically make like this inside place here. But if you're rich enough, you can um, scale with one huge chunk. Like you could just scale this upward. But if you're planning to build loads of guns in one whole, um, in one whole saved build, which I have it in one whole save build. None of my other ones have it. I didn't like um, load one and then move out. I didn't load multiple, basically. So you wanna make, that's the reason why my materials are very low actually, and it's not too good, but that's fine. So you wanna have your basically, your basic, what should I call it? It's like, the part you hold the the handle so just scale it upward how however much you want it doesn't matter but just don't make it so much just make it realistic to how the image looks so i'm using an image right now because you know uh trying to make it look like how i made it but here's how you want to make it once the handle is good enough you want to have it like this this one goes up twice. These two are leveled, obviously. So, this one, though, is one up, but then just one down. So what you're going to do straight off the ground, like at least around there, you'll scale this upward. Once it's up there, you want to scale this into them. So like that. Now you want to make sure that it covers one, two, about this much area. Now you'll scale this, oh wait, you can scale this one more actually, yeah. You'll now scale this about, actually I'm going to, how can I put this in specific? So maybe once it's not touching this, now it's touching. So this is where you're going to take it. Now set your scale to actually no 0 0.5. Um, you want to make this go far, scale it far, but not too far, because this part isn't really going to go that far. But I think you may have, you can do this. You can go an extra two actually. You don't have to scale it that far. Just, there's no actual specific amount that you have to push it far back. But this part, you'll just push it maybe one, two, three, four. So you want yours looking kind of like this. Actually, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, three, four. Around this. I put it close to my sign, actually. But it was so close, though. I think I started way too far back. Like, look, it's literally touching the signs. So now, what you want to do, place a block under here. And with match rotation on, press T1, 2. Twice. Now scale this in like that. And scale it in again. Something like that. Would it was it like this? Maybe. Maybe. Um now actually wait, it's by four. It's by four, my bad. So the reason why the scale is set on zero point five, I think I know um is it uneven? Where it's uneven. 
I'm gonna have it on three, I guess. So here, you place a titanium, tilt it one, two, three, four. You want you don't want to have it inward, just like at the furthest out on the outside. It actually does stick. So like this, you want to start off by. Actually, wait, two, three, four. I think this will work. Yeah. So three and four. So that's how thick you want your gun to be around four. Then you'll have your top part here. Scale it downward. But to know where the middle is, I'll do it like that. Now you want to scale this part like to the end here, you know, just to shape off that part where it's that now you want this so you want to pr I think you want to press rotation two twice yes twice so this one I forgot inward like that scale it here oh no So once they meet, basically, you can delete that by then. Um, you don't want it passing this, so maybe good or like that. There you go. Now you can delete. Oh no! I ex okay, that's fine. We're not doing the RPG now. Oh, that's too much. Once it looks good, basic. Yeah, that looks good. Now, here, you don't have to care about this. It looks all right. You'll scale this here. And, oh, that don't look good, then. Uh, okay. Let me make sure, make sure it's leveled with this one, yep. Bro, how did the, what? What? How do I build this? Um, whatever. So you'll scale it to however far you place this one. You can see specifics later. But how to tell really how far it was is if it's... Yes. There you go. It needs one more. Then there you go. It will line up perfectly. See, because with these, it will line up perfectly. But it, if it's scaled off by one, then it won't line up perfectly with the thing. So you can make your trigger, obviously. Um, I'll just make a simple one. I'm not gonna go too crazy into it. So here's how I did mine. It was actually quite long. So you can have it like this far, but it was actually quite flat. So I had to seal it down. But that's your trigger. You can, you, you're supposed to paint this red. Just red, that red, you know, the normal, not darker or the brighter. This, however, this one, I'm pretty sure I painted it this gray. Yes. No, did I not? I think, yeah, I did. You want to paint it this gray. I'm pretty sure, but not the red parts. So, obviously, you can put a tick in the trigger. You can use scale zero to do that, but I'm not really going quite into this. So, what I did was I scaled this one two and one two it will thicken the end part because that's the real gun then i use glass and painted it red so i'm not going to go into that but basically what you do is you'll go here scale this all the way there and um there now you don't want it poking out here but since this is for my example, actually, I can show a better example. So you just need to do that. It may look not as well since, you know, it's colliding. So what you want to do, hit red. Now you select those and set transparency to 25. Zero would make it opaque, which means, yeah, non-see-through. That, that's not what you want. Um, 25. It will at least lower how much it 
See that glass is how it looks like on an arsenal on the real arsenal gun. So on both parts on the top you'll you want to scale one that's like this so that you'll at least have a border instead of having see here's how it would have looked like if I didn't add those. If I didn't add these ones straight flat onto the it would have it would have just um it would have looked very pointy. This doesn't look good. So you're going to need something to fill it in. Now, obviously, if you have the glass there, you'll just continue it on. Take some time. But here's where you will stop. You will stop by the time you hit um, this part. You see these poking parts poking out? That's where I stopped at least. Uh, you can stop anywhere you want. You can maybe even stop here, but I suggest if you want the most accurate looking one, you stop over here. So you will you can continue that. It's just, I don't know. I don't think I really got the time to um, sh show a full presentation to on how to build it. So um, Basically, what I did is once you hit this part, you want to, once you hit, like, this part that's here um yeah around that part you would then place more titanium and that would basically round off this part yes um i'll have this part scale it in um upward scale so if I actually filled in this whole spot, it wouldn't look so blank with holes. But I don't know if I could really quite do that right now. So, no. But, you can do it on your own. Um, if you know what I mean when I'm showing this. So this will basically cut off the rest of the glass. But don't actually do how I'm, how I'm doing the glass right now. You can... Here's how you would originally do it. Also, once you place this, you want to have an outline so that it's blocking some of the parts. So then paint it red. 